affected. Getting back in the couple of minutes we've got left with you, Governor, to 9-11, uh, as a military um, man in your history, 44,000 U.S. troops, 18,000 British troops, two aircraft carrier attack groups in the three months before 9-11 massed in the countries and in the waters off of Afghanistan. Newsweek reported Bush, the day before 9-11, signed the attack orders to go into uh, Afghanistan one week later. Isn't that pretty obvious uh, when you have all of these troops being massed and then Bush says, oh, we went in because of 9-11? Uh, I can't answer that, Alex, because that's information I have no knowledge about. I have to just simply take your word for it. But mm -hmm. if that is true, then absolutely yes. Well, I mean, here's an example. You know about Gulf of Tonkin because I talked to you a year and a half ago about that. They now admit that right. that was staged. Uh, they yep. now admit, Chicago Tribune, that Israel did attack the Liberty in 67 to try to blame it on Egypt. Uh, that's now declassified. That, that debate's over. I mean, governments, all governments have been caught. Putin's been caught. Uh, uh, doing things like this. Do we need to have a renaissance, an awakening to this so criminal elements in government stop doing it? I mean, how important is it to expose false flag terror? Well, that's why I wrote the book, Alex. It's don't start the revolution without me, and I believe we must have a revolution in which to take our country back. In closing, Governor Ventura, uh, the book bound to be a bestseller, Don't Start the Revolution Without Me, The War. Fifth year anniversary was just a few weeks ago. Uh, the Pentagon plans it will be there at least 50 years. McCain says 100. Uh, Cheney said 100-year war. Uh, I mean, how can we get the troops home when uh, they sell it? And in a way, it's true that by putting the troops there, it wrecked it. So now we have to stay there to fix it. But the studies show if we left, it would get better. I mean, what would you do as president? And you, know, you said on Larry King last night, so A, the war, and then B, uh, you said that 80-something percent on Larry King Live in the poll wanted you to run for president. Are you thinking about running this year, or are you thinking about running in four years? Well, it's impossible for me to run this year unless somebody could get me ballot access in all 50 states, which is very, very difficult to do because the two-party system is set up so that there can't be any third entity that gets, gets in there to give people an alternative choice. So it's impossible for me to run at this late date, I would think. I mean, nothing's impossible, but it would be very slim to none to be able to do it. Uh, what we've what we've got to do is, uh, like I said, we got to quit electing these people of the status quo. Uh, whoever comes in next is going to face a, a. I don't envy it because you're going to spend four years just cleaning up George Bush's mess, and I doubt you'd be able to do anything on your own at all until you know a second four years. No, no, that maybe. makes sense. But 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 you're in shape. You're jogging. You told me uh, every day, and you're surfing. And so hopefully you can get geared up, and in four years. Perfect time for Jesse Ventura to run for president, maybe with Ron Paul on the ticket. Well, that remains, you know, you never say never, Alex. I've learned that in 56 years on the planet, that you never say never. So who knows what could happen. But then on the flip side, you know, I might be uh, I might be down there uh, riding giants with, uh, what's his name, uh, the, the, the big surfer. <laughs> uh, oh, shoot, I can't think of his name now off the top of my head. Hey, it's okay. Head. Governor, I, you've been very gracious giving us an hour and uh, 18 minutes. I'm going to let you go. And uh, when the book uh, hits the number one bestseller chart here in the next few weeks, uh, I'd love to get you back on for a, a quick pop-in about the book. Thank you for all your time. Liberty. Oh, thank you, Alex, and keep up the great work. And, uh, and you know, between all of us, we, we, we can make the United States the great country it used to be, and it can rise up and be that again.